So let's do number 16, and it should be number 16 on everybody's questions, I believe. I don't think I've got them scrambling, so everybody should be question 16. Now, number 11 has a problem with it, so skip number 11. I'm going to put this in my message to you, but um, there is a problem with it. It's not a function, and so it, it doesn't pass our vertical line test. So just don't do it. Just skip it, and I'll go back later and just give everybody credit. But question 16 is a little more difficult because we have to go backwards from the graph of our piecewise function to um, the function that it came from. And they've already given us the restrictions over here on the right-hand side. We just need to figure out what the formula is on the left. So let's notice between negative 6 and 1, here's negative 6 and negative 1 right here, that's this piece. We're going to find the formula for this piece and put it right here. And it's really strange because when it shows the answer later, it gives this really ridiculous looking thing right here. And um, you, you can't see how they got that kind of thing. So uh, it's, it's correct, but it's just really strangely um, arranged. So let's actually do it. Um, let's notice that we have this point right here, which is negative 6, 3. So I'm going to write down the point negative 6, 3. And this point right here at the end, which is negative 1, negative 2. And this is a line segment. So I'm going to find the equation of the line that this would have been if it weren't just a segment. So I'm going to go back to a page, take these two points, and we'll find the equation of a line. And actually, I just thought about it. There's a quicker way um, for us to get the slope than to use these two points. Let's go back here for a second. Um, and let's just count. Let's notice that, first of all, right here, it is going through the point negative 3, 0. We can see that point right there. So if we count the rise over the run, we can count down one, two places until I'm even with this point, and then one, two places over. So down two over 2, that's my slope. Um, down 2 is a negative 2, and then right 2 is a positive 2, and this is a slope of negative 1. Now, if you have problems with that counting idea, you can still use your slope formula, and I know it keeps capitalizing the M here, but remember, our slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, with that formula in mind, I can subtract my y's from the two points that I took on top. So, I'm going to just do 3 minus negative 2, and that goes over the x values subtracted on the bottom. And since I started with 3 on the top, i got to start with the negative 6 on the bottom. So, negative 6 minus negative 1, negative 6 minus negative 1. And of course, if I work this out on top, 3 minus negative 2 is really 5, because negative negative is positive. And then negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. And notice again, that's a slope of negative 1. So either one will give us the same slope. All right, so now I'm going to use my point slope equation to find the equation of the line. So we've got y minus y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I'm going to let, go ahead and use my draw feature here. I'm going to let this one be my x1, y1. It doesn't really matter which point I use. They will both lead me to the same equation. All right, so this is going to give me y minus, in this case, 3. M, we already said, was negative 1, and X minus negative 6. Now, you can write it as X minus negative 6 like this, or you can immediately go to X plus 6. So I will, in this next step, just go ahead and, of course, since we have a negative negative, that makes it a positive. And let's distribute our negative 1 through the parentheses. So that's going to give me negative x and negative 6. And then let's take our 3 over. 
and we will have negative x minus 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this back here in this blank and we'll make sure that it's going to accept the answer instead of the, the weird thing that it's got written over here. Um, but let's go ahead to the middle piece. Now this last piece I'm going to do exactly the same way I just did that one that we did here. But the middle piece between negative 1 and 3, the nice thing about anything that's constant, anything that's horizontal, is it's real easy to get the piecewise function we're going to put here. Let's notice that the y value is always negative 3 for this any point on this little line right here. So this is negative 3. And that's all there is to getting that one. Now this one though, we have to go back to the same idea we did back here. We need to get the slope. And I can tell that it goes through this point right here. And I can also tell there's an open circle right here. So let's find the slope by going up and then over. So if I go up one place to get even with that point right there, so that's a rise of 1 and then 1, 2 over. So a run of 2, the slope there is 1 half. All right, so let me go back over here. I know that for my third piece, the slope is 1 half or 0.5 if I want to use 0.5. And I'm pretty sure it will accept 0.5, and you might be more comfortable with using that instead of the fraction. And then let's choose a point. And I can, I can choose um, that open circle, even though it's not on the graph, because we're really finding the line. And then this over here restricts it to that little barbell shaped there. So we can use this open circle. Um, or I can use that point right there that I can tell that it's going through. I'm going to use, though... Um, let's see, 3, negative 4. So, and I'm going to put that into our point slope equation. So I'll have y minus y1 would be a negative 4. m is 0.5. And then x minus 3. And I can go ahead and change my negative negative into a plus. And let's distribute the 0.5. So that's 0.5x. And then 0.5 times 3 would be 1.5, and it's negative. Okay, and then let's bring over the 4. I'm sorry, I know that looks bad. There we go. And then we get y equals 0.5x minus 5.5. All right, so let's put in 0.5x minus 5.5 back here. All right, and then we're going to check it because this thing is so weird. Yeah, so even though the answer is listed in some bizarre way, and it really is bizarre, I don't know why um, the author of the question would do that, we, um, it's, notice it still answers these correct when we use our point-slope equation and work through it.